Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage, and we're holding our monthly tech meet today, and we will be addressing air conditioning issues, charging, uh, evacuating, recharging, and pressures, and all that kind of stuff on a Silver Shadow 2. So, in theory, all the Freon should be out of there. But one thing that happens a lot of times is that the dryer after you do this, we'll get real cold and start sweating. That means there's still some Freon in there. So what I'm going to do now is open up this valve so that I, there's an adjuster, I think, on this back side. It wasn't all out, was it? That's, <laughs> it's an inexact science, to be honest with you. And at least in my shop. So since my hard drive is a little bit corrupted, I'm trying to remember which way I got to turn it to change the pressure. And a, a prudent person would write it down somewhere, but then they'd have to remember where they wrote it down. So this is a by guess and by golly at this point. We will see a change one way or another. Of course, they make it a little awkward sometimes. Look at the brand you're working on. What's that? Look at the model you're working on. Normal. I love these cars. Are there were a lot of shadows at National. You show us how to fix something, but you don't show us how to get it out to fix <laughs> A lot of them. <laughs> Do not try this at home. Matt likes to, though. He's Why a car Why didn't they guy. put the adjustment on the outside? What's that? Why didn't they put the adjustment screw on the outside? Well, then people would monkey with it. I know. You're not supposed to be, but these are unavailable. That's why I, I kind of decided I was going to start monkeying. If they put the adjustment screw to the outside, there'd be another leak on the <coughs> Right. They stop making them or stop making the kit? They stop making them. You can't rebuild these. They're welded together. That's... They stop making them, and what the, the replacement for these now is, so this is supposed to control temperature to actually control the inside temperature. So this valve, the POA valve, for years on the early shadows where they have a suction throttle valve that is very prone to leaking, which controls how much Freon goes back to the compressor. How much Freon goes back to the compressor is what controls pressures. Uh, they would leak real bad, so we would put these on. So what that did was make your temperature quality, in other words, uh, how cold it is, ineffective inside the car on the manual systems. Because these would do the job for that, and people always complain that air conditioning is too cold. Now, I don't know about you, but that's, that's, not, that's a quality problem, is what we would say. Yeah. Is GM the only one that used the POA to that? Uh, I'm not sure. I've, I've, most of my experience is on these, so I don't know about yeah, other I manufacturers. The A6 as they came from. Like they said, the POA came with the compressor. This is, uh, is kind of ticking me off here. I should have. Oh, we're almost there. Point spot. Oh, the, a 
adjusters on this side. There it is. So, I don't know if you can see inside there with the camera. I'll show everybody else. There's a little nut. It's held with like a spring retainer. Need you see the nut in the center? Need a flashlight. It is. I'm going to be out of your... Is it, you see it now? Yep. Okay, there's a nut in there. That can be turned in and out. Anybody wants to see it? There's a little nut way down there. Gotcha. Yeah. So that adjusts the spring tension in there for that pilot operated, what again? A. Pilot operated control valve. Yeah. What was the A? The automatic. automatic. Oh. I think it's backed out. Oh. So I turned it a half turn in. Let's see what happens. This is a painful process. We'll probably have to take it apart again. That is loose. I don't like that. How much play is there in that adjustment screw? I forget. I think you can get four or five turns one way or the other. And it should be right in the middle of it. I don't know where it should be. We're going to do it until we get the pressures reading happy. So we could be here for a couple of days. There was a delayed response there. <laughs> no, we're going to get you out of here today. So this, this hollow nut here for this fitting has some tight spots, and that's probably because it's been tightened pretty tight, and it's a little squashed, so it's grabbing on the tube. So one that's not been altered like that would turn, oh, there we go. It's just out there too far. No, not really. Should go by finger, actually, but. It's not a deal breaker. It just makes me look like I'm uncoordinated. This little reservoir right here makes it more difficult. And you see that this valve also has a little capillary tube. A capillary tube is just like a little pressure sensing type tube that goes back to this expansion valve. So they kind of work in, in conjunction with each other. Are the expansion valves with the R12 compatible with the R13? Yes. Most of the, most of the components are, will go either way now. Uh, the big difference is oil. And, the, and when they first came out with the 134, they used a type of oil that was really corrosive, so they had a lot of problems with aluminum components, had to go stainless steel. Is that the ether? Ester oil, I think, right? Ester. Uh, and then they went to a um, different style of oil that's kind of compatible with both. If you change out a, a compressor and flush the system, you want to get all the old oil out and make sure you get the proper charge. This compressor has an actual sump. So it holds a lot of oil, that one. Eight to 12 ounces, I think, a system charge on that. And it has a little oil pump that lubricates the bearings and all that kind of stuff in there. Now, 134 is going away. What's the new one coming in? 1234 YZX or something like that. Something about it's already in. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. Kind of limited. And I understand it's like, my cost is like $75 a pound. That's oh yeah, way more expensive. Plus, I need another six thousand dollar machine. Other than that, easy peasy, right?